Republican strategist, former chair of the Nevada Republican Party, Amy Tarkarian, Tarkarian joins us, as well as David Bossy, former Trump campaign aide, Citizens United, and author. Good to have you both. Amy, let me uh, first apologize for kicking your name. Uh, and, it's okay. And, and to say to you, great to see you. Uh, your thoughts you about well. Jeb Bush and how much he brings to the Republican Party and how revolting is it that he would even suggest that he's a conservative? Oh, I found this extremely comical. Uh, you said it. He is low energy. Um, you know, we can go back uh, over I and over. I stole that from President Trump, by speeches. the way. I've got to acknowledge that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, please clap. <laughs> I mean, how pathetic. I mean, he's a sore loser, isn't he? Um, it's so easy for other people to, to stand at a, at a distance and to say, you know what, someone else should do this. Why don't you go and, and run? Um, it's a lot of hard work to run, and it's a lot of work to fundraise. He raised, he fundraised upwards to, what, $130 million and didn't have much to show for it. So I think he just needs to, to take a, a seat and, and maybe go to a country club and, and hobnob with some of his buddies. In, in Florida. Did you, could you hear uh, Axel Rod cheering him on as he sat there? I, I mean, it was, it's appalling. Uh, and to know that he's simply now just a tool of the left, for crying out loud. David, we've, we, he, we he just watched tool. this president stand up for the American people, had to fight 12 rhino senators, and probably a couple more wanted to, to jump in there. Uh, and, and the radical Dems. Uh, and thank God we've got this president because he's got a party that is so splintered and so disgustingly weak. Uh, it, it's it, it's sickening. Well, he is a tool of the left, and this is a pathetic excuse uh, for him to show his sour grapes. And let me just say, Lou, now, we're, it's we're so done fun. with we're it's done a, with Jeb Bush. That, I'm moving on from Jeb Bush. You know, I can't take any more of that. He didn't say that in 1992 when his dad was president. He didn't say it in 2004 when his brother was running for re-election. Jeb Bush is a, a pathetic loser, and he should just stay out of the limelight. And what I about those 12 that. rhino senators I asked oh. you about? What about uh, those uh, Dems? What about the party that splintered? Uh, I mean, th these are egg-sucking, spineless, uh, pathetic creatures. I, I mean, they really are. Look, this president made a promise to the American people to secure the border, and these 12 senators have let down the American people, in my opinion. The Republicans who voted against this president, these appropriators who now have found a constitutional question, where were they doing this when it was Barack Obama or, or Bill Clinton? Mm -hmm. They didn't do that then, and they're mm -hmm. doing it today to undermine this president, and it's, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances. Yeah, unfortunate, like a national emergency, and these uh, these are deniers for crying out loud. Yes, Amy, your thoughts here as the president stands up uh, for the American people. What are going to? What do you think are the likely ramifications uh, for the for the country for uh, for the party uh, going into 2020? Well, I would like to know, why aren't we listening to the experts? You know, this is the second time right. now that he's had sheriffs from across the nation, that he's had Border Patrol agents, that he's had angel moms come out and plead to the American public on why this is necessary, why this is important, and why we need the funding for the and border security. And with him security. today in the White House as he signed yes. the veto of that ignorant resolution. Absolutely. And, and so this is mind blowing to me. And so I think that the general public has had enough of this. You know, I, I'm actually from Las Vegas, but I'm currently up in northern Nevada in the Reno area. And we recently had an illegal alien murder four innocent people from the Gardnerville and Reno area. Enough is enough. David, you get the last word here tonight. It is a national emergency, Lou. We have to solve this problem. The amount of drugs, you know, illegals pouring over our borders must be stopped. And this president is standing tall for border security. And it's terrible when Republicans don't support him in this effort. And, and we, have to, we have to have an answer for that. Yeah, I, I, I think it's called a primary. That's and right. you run, you raise as much money as you can and you beat every one of them like a drum. David Bossy, thanks for being with us. Amy Tarkanian, thank you very much. Always good to see you both.